there on stage. We can see our crowd right now. As I said before, one of the best looking crowds in esports. What are you gonna do? Gorgeous crowd. I believe in you, crowd. I say you are the best looking crowd in esports. I love you more. I'm better. Game three, and this could be our final game of the World Championships. That's right. Luminosity, your purple team, up two games. Omo Abyssinian, your orange team, down two games. They need to win three in a row to reset this thing against the World Champions who are looking to take it for a second year in a row. Unthinkable, almost, that a team could claw their way through all of their region and then through their insane group stage here to the top eight win every single match and make their way back to a grand finals how is a team this good they are luminosity it's insane that they're doing it in such a dominant fashion k opener goes straight on top of rin and if they wanted to push that pressure they would have had a decent chance coming in is the talon flame not able to engage on that very robust tandem of rin and elo and you can see once again looking for a KO here on that Phantom. You know, they remember that from a couple games ago. They say, yeah, I, I think I remember exactly how this goes. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that goal zone to you guys. That's what's amazing in the early game and getting Overlord online so quickly is they can get into these paths, try and take over. Tons of experience and a KO to Squirtle. And now all of a sudden, Shua has to peel out and poor Eldegoss is left helping nobody. Who are you supporting? Nobody but your own lifeline here. KO streak of two. And we've got more points and an LG is cool. Cooking, my friend. LG is cooking. They are in this central no, area, and I don't like think this. Omo Abyssinian wants any part of it, as they are just bullying this little Squirtle, my favorite Pokemon. How dare you, Overlord? <laughs> I mean, this poor Talonflame is doing everything it can to just get away from Overlord. We have a Phantom, a Sobble, a Squirtle, and a Gossifleur. This is an absolute nightmare on Elstream situation, and Luminosity is ready to Freddy Krueger through that whole squad. Here we go, Squirtle heading back to base right now. They just need to look for some experience. We don't yet have a Talon Flame on the board, so they don't have the ability to fly over the battlefield, land some of these big, massive moments that Talon Flame is known for as they are eating an Electro Ball right here, just trying to pick up some experience somewhere. But Luminosity is chasing them down. Relentless Nightmare on Elm Street, more like Michael Myers, just relentless following them to their home base. Whatever this is, this is an 80 slasher flick and the victims are Omo Abyssinian 125 to 0 they are struggling in levels just getting crumpled on the scoreboard LG smells blood in the water and like a Sharpedo they're going straight for it they just keep the aggression they just keep pushing forward nice big score stopped here by luminosity 132 one right now trevenant finally evolves this could be a big moment here for abyssinian as we still don't have a talon flame we have an overlord that's ready to go to work finally we're gonna put the pressure on if they take down overlord that's a big catch all right that's where it starts for them woodhammer's coming out you got to pick up elo as well they're trying to put the pressure on but they're able to hit your ride very quickly on top of slash Mew sorts out the Eldegoss, but the pressure continues. Tempest is very low. The follow-up from Slash, the grass knock goes wide. Crash landing is the Talon Flame, but they can't flame charge back out. Boosted Auto trying to find the mark. No, they make it out. Okay, Omo Abyssinian found a way. They're getting, like I said, waffled on the scoreboard, but they got a chance. Right back in this game, when you pick up a massive KO on an overleveled Pokemon no. like that, you get right back in this, and they might get another one right here as Rin is in so much trouble. No way. If you can run, how do you get out of this? The liquidation finally that's, takes them down. And that's why liquidation is awesome. It all, it sure hits, Spraggles. It sure hits. They got that KO, and now they're putting the pressure back on the other way. This scoreboard is looking rough, but they're finding a way. They're trying to get it done. Slash is forced out the Unite move. They get a KO for that expenditure on the Talon Flame Shua. That's huge. Mew follow up with back on the Inteleon, and suddenly LG is starting to regain that composure. Yeah, they're regaining that composure while we see the Zoroark just crashing that <laughs> tier two goal zone here of Omo Abyssinian. What, what are these levels, Spraggles? I mean, Elo nine slash nine higher than everything else, but the Inteleon on the other side? I mean, LG is humming right now. This is a grand finals, but if you asked, you'd say this was a scrim block. What is going on? This is absolutely.
absolutely insane. If you're just joining us, I'm going to do my best. Rihanna, where have you been? 228 to 5 as Luminosity is looking to become your world champions once again in an absolute dominant performance right here. Omo Abyssinian so far behind, but you can always catch up if you can pick up a couple big KOs. I just don't see where they are because Luminosity is taking them all. 36 to 5. Luminosity, the last hope of NA is looking to say, na, 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 Keep hey, going. hey, hey, goodbye. That's right. Incredible stuff here from Luminosity. I mean, this oh, Come on, just, dude. I, I don't know what to say at this point, except that Luminosity is dominating this game. If you were worried about what they were going to do here in the World Championships, I don't know if you need to worry too much longer. Omo Abyssini is not <laughs> out of this thing, but it feels like they are so far away, and the World Championships are slipping through their fingers. Technically, they still have four minutes and 20 seconds. It's looking bleak, though, as more KOs are just stacking up, raining in. If they can get Overlord again, again, that's where it huge, begins. Huge, huge. That's, that's where it starts. Getting ELO as well is big. Let's take a look at the levels here. That just brought them up, and Talion at least to parity with the highest no. on LG, and they're scoring no. the gun goal zone. The level of no. disrespect. Rin brought it. <laughs> Rin brought the Uber Eats and tried to deliver it on the doorstep. Didn't quite come through. Sealed up by Trevin. Okay, they're making moves now tempest is seeing slash is getting low solar beam comes through curios is peeling back looking for another target prevents the reset there so 336 to 22 omo abyssinian is trying to find opportunities omo abyssinian is fighting their way back in this game stopping that massive score there from rin and then taking that bottom objective level wise they are not looking that bad here dupes next points wise uh, it could be better Correct, but I mean, when we get to the final stretch and you're talking about hundo burgers, you can rack those up like Jughead and eat all day long and get enough to overcome this lead. What Luminosity needs to do is not hemorrhage everything back into the hands of Omo Abyssinian. Omo Abyssinian, got to make some plays. Yeah, it's definitely not over for Omo Abyssinian. I have lost games. I was winning harder, so it's definitely possible right here. As we see, a nice big Kumpe Unite move able to keep Zoroark healthy right here. Up 387 now to 22. Luminosity putting themselves in a position where even if they lose Rayquaza and they lose some big KOs like that right there, they can still win this this game on score. They are way, way up right now, Doob Snacks. I mean, Curios getting KO'd there isn't the end of the world. We already saw their uh, respawn timer is like 26 seconds. So picks here on any player on LG, it means their their uh, KO timer is massive. So Alma Abyssinian has to keep that in mind and look for those opportunities because that is their way back into this. They need one big pick, one big catch. And they have a level 14 in Teleon. In fact, the highest level on the map is on the side of Omo Abyssinian. This is definitely not over, but this is so incredibly difficult. If any team can do it, it is Omo Abyssinian, but if any team can stop them, it's Luminosity, who's been stopping them all game. Rayquaza right, hits the map with the Sacred Sword, rips right the middle with the Curio. Curio's got the follow-up on the Talonflame. Hydro Typhoon comes up, picks up two, but Rin is down. Can they get more? Curios is heating up two players down. Omo Abyssinian needs to find more targets. Can they find one? Overlord's trying to eat this Cotton Ball. Are they going to follow up the pressure on Curios gets the Blastoise. I feel like Curios is this their game. They're getting that land buff here. Another KO streak of two. Three players down for Omo Abyssinian and Luminosity doesn't even have to touch this Rayquaza. Luminosity does not need Rayquaza right now as multiple members of Abyssinian are down. They are respawning. However, we still have a Unite move on the Talonflame, but we have two Unite moves on the side of Luminosity. One on that Comfe. That Comfe is going to be able to keep Overlord alive almost no matter what is going to be thrown at him right here as Trevenant finds him there in the tall grass and we're looking to see how this fight is going to play out. Omo Abyssinian is so far behind. They need to make a Hail Mary play. Pick up some massive KO, KO and they you. start with the Mew. Oh, they're Overlord's trying to go in. They're trying to protect the rest of the time. They're starting to eviscerate. And they're starting to eat. Unite move comes out. They're going to go for the follow up. Blast was the next one up. They're lining up. KO Shrink two on the Elegos. Following back the other way. We're just keep pushing. Slashes on top of the Blast Toys. And now we're looking at the town play. We're darting back through. Rin takes care of the Trevenant. Four Players down. Oh, come on. Give me all five players down for that ace. You can't 
break the wind. You can't smash a mountain. You can't bury the sea. And you can't stop LG. That's an ace in game three of the Pokemon Unite World Championship Grand Finals. Incredible as the points rain in on this main goal zone. Luminosity with a flawless performance here today. 2 0 owing every single team on their way to the Grand Finals as they just put on an absolute clinic. One of the best performances I've seen in Pokemon Unite. And that was a statement. That was a period. The best team in the world. Two years in a row. Luminosity from North America. Let's go. LG stands for let's go. You're not wrong there, Spraggles. LG said making it back. We never left. Are you joking? LG has not looked like this team at all this year they didn't look like it yesterday either they woke up to say and say oh yeah we are the best we are built different that crown never left our head and remember who's sitting on the throne look at this here and you can feel it from this stage an absolutely dominant performance from luminosity <laughs> I love Kyrios so much. I just love the emotion. And of course, they're feeling it right now because somehow they have done the impossible. Somehow they have won the Pokemon Unite World Championships for two.